there, there has been a big controversy. So I remember I described to the, the HOLC and the FHA were the yes. two primary federal agencies in the 30s. And so what's happened is, is that one of the things that happened is the HOLC after pretty much after they finished all the refinancing activity, they go into this mode. They're working for the Federal Home Loan Bank Board, which is heavily involved with the savings. And loan We're loan still loan. in the 1930s. We're in the 1930s. Okay. So it's around 1936. They've pretty much gotten, they finished up all their lending activity and refinancing activity. Okay. And so they're trying to learn. They've got a huge number of people working for them. And so rather than dump them on the street, they try to hold on to quite a few. So it's a big bureaucracy now, big organization. Pretty substantial, but you know okay. they 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 release people as they need to and stuff. But they 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 keep a number of people to try to analyze the housing markets around the United States. And so they go these huge city surveys that they do for like 250 cities around the country to try to understand what's happening with mortgage markets at the time. And so the surveys actually they surveys survey all the lenders. And ask them about what kind of interest rates they charge and how many foreclosures and all sorts of things like that. But another thing they do is they try to understand the, the geography of the, of the real estate market at the time. And so they draw these maps and they collect these neighborhood descriptions and say, okay, well, what's determining the willingness for people to loan in these various neighborhoods? So they call these security maps. And the idea is to try to understand where are the high risk areas? Where are the low risk areas? And so they draw all these maps and things. And this is really comprehensive. Oh yeah. And so what they do now, you have to realize is what they're doing is they're drawing a picture of what the world looks like in 1936. And discrimination was very was far more common back then than it is today. And yeah. so if you look the levels of segregation in the cities were, were rising dramatically between 1900 and 1930 before the federal government gets involved. And so you have these very segregated neighborhoods. You just think about, you know, think about the towns. You